Today I want to take a look at the Microsoft Graph and how to create a Quick Start application. If you Google MS Graph Quick Start, the first result is going to be this page with a wizard that allows you to select your platform or language and then connect it to Azure AD and query the Microsoft Graph. Here we'll go ahead and pick out Angular for our platform, but you can see there's a number of other choices. To get set up for Angular development, you need to download and install Node. You need to create the Angular CLI. Uh, when they say Angular, they mean Angular 2 Plus, not Angular JS 1. So just keep that in mind. This will be the newer version. And then we want to go ahead and get an app ID for your tenant. Now over here, I do have an Office 365 tenant uh, connected and up and running. So we'll try and go ahead and do the get app ID and it wants us to sign in. Here we'll see a prompt for a work or personal account. We will select a work account, put in credentials. And now we've successfully created a client app ID with a display name of my Angular app. Down here we can go to start coding and you can download the sample. It's really that easy. That essentially you choose your language first, you click the get app ID to generate a GUID number, and then you download the code sample. When you download the code sample, you want to extract the zip file to a folder and execute npm install to download the project dependencies. And then after that, run ng-serve to go ahead and start up the localhost 4200. Here you can see the MS Graph Training Angular Spa has been extracted. And there's a folder of Graph Tutorial which contains the package JSON. Package JSON is where you want to be to execute npm install. So now we'll go ahead and navigate over to that particular folder do a dir statement, we see package JSON, and we execute npm install download all the dependencies. With the dependencies downloaded, we're now ready to go ahead and run ng space serve to start up the localhost 4200 website. Now if you've never used Angular CLI before on this particular machine, you probably will need to go out to the web in order to do npm install at angular cli g, the dash g is for global, this particular machine already has that step completed, so we can go right into 3 and do ng-serve to start the development website. Now at this point it says compiled successfully. We're up and running. We can go ahead and open up the local 4200. And here we see a home page for a single page app, a simple message, a button to sign in, and a sign in button in the corner. We'll go ahead and click on that. We'll get prompted. We'll get prompted for a login. We can choose our login name from recent activity. And here we see a consent dialog that this application would like to maintain access to data you have given it access to. It would like to read your profile and also read your calendar. We'll go ahead and consent on behalf of your organization and click accept. We are now logged in, and you can see that it has the username in the top right, and it has the display name in the center, and we're able to execute graph API calls. And by clicking on the calendar tab at the top, we navigate over to the slash calendar route, which executes a Microsoft Graph API call to download the calendar information for the current user. Uh, here we can see a couple of test events with Hello World and Weekly Meeting and Chicago User Group. And all of these have data that's coming from Exchange Online through Graph in the middle to our application on the front end. If we open a new tab and navigate out to portal.azure.com, we'll get an ADFS login, we'll go to Azure Active Directory, and we'll navigate into App Registrations, Enterprise App Registrations. 
we have a lot of different things here, but my Angular app is listed. We'll navigate into that. And you can see that there's a usage chart for kind of number of API calls. There's a lot of properties, ownership, but all these things let you manage the My Angular app, which is the same as the Quick Start we just downloaded from Microsoft. So this is the back end. If you need to modify any permissions for the app, you go to portal.azure.com and you click on Enterprise Applications and then you locate the My Angular app in the center of the screen. And from here you can change you know, who has access to use the app, you can accept it for the full tenant, you can see charts of usage, you can grant consent on behalf of the full tenant. A lot of good management things you can do from portal.azure.com. Of course we have the website running at localhost 4200. Um, after this you could do an ng space build to compile the project to finished files and then publish those somewhere. But this goes through the process of how to use the graph quick start to begin an Angular CLI and then go ahead and, and grant that application access to your Azure Active Directory where it can then query data from, from your calendar from Exchange Online.